the growth of Corico has been quite amazing really. In the 20 odd years that I've been with the company, the growth has been consistently averaging over 25 to 30% per annum. Currently, world leaders in the development and application of high technology coatings and composites, Corico started out as a service organisation repairing corrosion damage. At that time, we purchased materials from other companies to carry out these repairs. Um, but then I was unhappy with some of those materials and we decided to start making our own materials. The first thing we did was go and buy an old bakery mixer and some raw materials and uh, we made our first coating. And so Charles Watkinson's conviction that technological innovation could solve any problem spawned Coracote's hugely successful research and development arm. So always we try to keep in front of the pack. And in order to do that, we've had to keep on developing. And so we've conducted a huge amount of research. It is this unwavering commitment to the advancement of their products that has led Coracote to not only consistently launch new coatings, but also to design and manufacture their own valves and their own glass flake. The manufacture of glass flake cost us something in the order of 1.6 million pounds. That money might have just been blown completely. Fortunately, we were very successful with it and it has earned us a lot of money since. Its profitability lies in glass flakes many areas of application, from car tyres to cosmetics. But if Coracote has had one ongoing challenge, it is in marketing the multiple usages of all their coating technology. That, that's also a difficulty for us because we are so diverse. Uh, there are so many industries that we could be involved in. Some time ago we did a brainstorming session uh, on this particular subject and we came up with over 40 industries that potentially had the, uh, the need for our systems. Already active in the pulp, sugar and petrochemical industries, it's Coracote's watertight reputation in their highly sensitive core industries, oil, gas, marine and power, which has secured the loyalty of their clients. Being able to carry out work right first time, every time, is key to the company philosophy. Much of the work we do, we not only manufacture the materials, but we carry out the application and the engineering work in order that we can control all of the facets with that job. The durability of their work is in evidence across the UK, not only in aggressive environments like North Sea oil platforms, but in key infrastructure like the Dover Sea Wall, Thames Barrier and the A13 Bridge. But with operations in 37 countries globally, Coracote must ensure that this high quality is consistently maintained. We support our licensees around the world, either by training courses which we run here or by technical visits where I will go and visit them. We go in, into to great detail about corrosion, types of corrosion, the importance of surface preparation. Uh, and the, the techniques of applying the coating because if they're not applied correctly and the coatings fail, corrosion ensues which could be catastrophic in some circumstances. Corico is only too aware of the global importance of corrosion protection. If you look at the cost of corrosion around the world, on average it varies between 3 and 6% of gross national product, so corrosion costs huge amounts of money. Um, we provide bespoke solutions that provide people with long-term cost-effective benefits and also improve reliability on their plan. Not only are Coracote's coatings polymer-based, which use less solvents, it has also invested in the development of fluid-efficient coating systems, but the real benefit to the environment can be seen in the reliability of their work. Now what we are doing is we are stopping plant and equipment from having to be replaced with new equipment. And that is real recycling, it's real energy saving. Today, Corico is once again seeking a solution to one of the world's most crucial problems. How to repair, rather than replace, pipelines damaged by corrosion. So we developed a new coating here in Leeds. It took us uh, nearly four years to perfect a technique for getting these coatings on inside the pipe in a uniform way. Having perfected the technique, the company may now have finally found a suitable pipeline on which to test their technology. But increasingly, Coracote is focusing on the importance of prevention rather than cure. 
clearly we feel that if you can prevent corrosion in the first place that is far more cost effective and it has proven to be the case and increasingly our customers are looking at life cycle analysis. Corico itself is once again looking at building its own successful future. For the future um, we're just simply expanding into more and more areas of the world, into more and more areas of technology. Uh, the future for Corico is extremely bright. We're looking at the new nuclear powers, we're looking at the uh, renewable sector with the wind and the wave and we're very confident of landing some large projects and confident that we'll double turnover in the next 10 years. The company is set to cement its global presence and impact and an increasing number of people are realising it. Corico is becoming a household name. Well, we're often receiving tenders now which says this pump, for example, is to be coracoated, just like the Hoover. <laughs>